John Shilichi is being held without bail tonight, ending a nine-year manhunt that spanned two countries. After nine years on the run, accused pedophile John Shilichi was brought back to New Hampshire in handcuffs today. The 36-year-old was the first New Hampshire fugitive to appear on the FBI's 10 most wanted list. Authorities say tips led them to the town of San Jose de Gracia in Mexico, where Shilichi was living under the alias Dylan Thomas. It's always a great day when you get a, an FBI top 10 fugitive, um, and, and today I hope is a, a good day for the people of New Hampshire, um, and, and more importantly, I hope it's a good day for the, the victims of, of uh, John Salechi. In 1999, Shilechi moved in with the Deerfield family after serving a prison sentence for raping two children in Texas. Authorities say the family wanted to help Shilechi, but it wasn't long until he allegedly had sexual contact with the family's five-year-old son and fled the state. Because of those two prior convictions, Mr. Shalichi is facing uh, the possibility of a mandatory life sentence if convicted uh, in our case. While in Mexico, authorities say Shilechi was a DJ for a web-based radio show. Investigators say he was also the webmaster for a pedophile website for several years. Officials say he was living alone in the Mexican town of about 5,000 people when agents surrounded his house yesterday. They um, asked the occupant to come to the door, which, which he did. Um, Mr. Shalichi showed up at the front door and immediately identified himself as John Severino Shalichi. When told of the arrest, the victim's family had a mixed reaction. I spoke with the, uh, the family this morning. Uh, it's uh, some mixed emotion. Um, elated that he's been captured, um, hurt that it's got to come back up again. Federal officials say that Shilechi knew that he was on the 10 most wanted list and that he had only been living in San Jose de Gracia for a short time. Reporting live in Brentwood, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.